YouTube, Flickr, SoundCloud, Delicious. You know, we use all these components, bring them together to create one web offering, which is all hosted within the AWS platform. My name's Rob Gregg and I am the Chief Technology Officer for the Royal Opera House. The Royal Opera House is one of the um, busiest opera houses in the world. Um, we're the home of the Royal Opera and the Royal Ballet. We reached around 700,000 people um, through our main stage performances. We're in 30 territories worldwide with cinema. Um, that's pre-recorded and live relay of cinema. And we also have DVD and Blu-ray um, which we sell, sell worldwide with our ballet and opera content. Um, we're a non-profit and a charity um, and we have a very large education operation where we work with schools, young people and adults for arts engagement and education. Our um, last website was built in 2006 um, and it, it couldn't really cope with the demand of the growing use of the internet and customers wanted to access our content and buy tickets online. There was a big question around sustainability, so how do we deliver the level of scale that we wanted to achieve in a sustainable way um, and a manageable way. And so we were looking for an umbrella application to, to kind of protect those systems but give the level of service and performance that we were looking for. And we looked at several cloud providers and AWS was the one we settled on. I would say there are four days a year where we sell about a third of our inventory. Um, we go on sale at 10 o'clock just like an arena would do and everyone comes at once and that's the peaks that we're trying to, try, trying to manage. And to manage that on our website, what the Opera has done is give people an experience where they could get the tickets they wanted quickly. On AWS we are using EC2 for all of our instances. Um, we're using CloudFront which is really important to us. That really brings down, as an edge caching application which is very simple to implement, um, it really brings down our transaction throughput across our, our web servers phenomenally by tenfold. We use the Elastic Load Balancer. Um, that's a very important component of what, what we use. Um, we use Elastic Cache. We have a four node cluster um, for Elastic Cache. Um, we also use DynamoDB for high performance databasing to really, we use that for two things. Firstly, for storing session keys across the website so we can maintain a consistent experience rapidly online, but also um, we use it for all our order detail as well. So we, we can very quickly store orders and retrieve order detail in this kind of frenzy, which is this, 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 these peak booking days. Um, we use Route 53 for our DNS. We, we use quite a lot of the components, you know, we use CloudWatch heavily within there. Um, we use CloudFormation now, we're starting to spin up technology stacks using CloudFormation. My team recently went to Cloud School, um, courtesy of AWS, and um, straight away we're looking at different things we can do and different products we can use as we kind of expand um, our usage of the platform as we go forward. We're just embarking upon developing a, a hybrid app. Um, probably the first hybrid app in the arts sector. Um, and we're working with King's College and our, our development agency to, to do that. And that will sit on that AWS platform. So we'll continue to build products and services within there. So I don't, I don't think it's, we'll ever go back from it. So it's going to move forward with it really. Yeah.